My dear brothers and sisters, my name is Benoliel Alex from the Apostolic Vicarate of Rundu, Namibia, a student at St. Charles Luanga Seminary. Today, I would like us to share the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 14 to 15. It reads, The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel of today, I find two aspects. The first aspect is how we often look down on ourselves, and many a times we don't realize it, and that is the aspect of comparison. The disciples of John come to Jesus, and we are told that after they had gone to Jesus, they asked him as to why them, as the disciples of John and the Pharisees, fast, whereas the disciples of Jesus do not fast. My brothers and sisters, I think many a times we don't we act like the disciples of John and the Pharisees when we tend to look down on ourselves, especially when we question and compare ourselves and our lives to other people. And by doing this, we happen not to be cognizant of the uniqueness in us, for we focus more on always wanting to be like others and wanting others to be like us, rather than focusing on building ourselves up. And many a times, we often complain to God by saying, Lord, why me and why not others? Instead, we should be thankful and tactful for what we are and for who we are. The second aspect that I find interesting is how Jesus responds to them when they approach him and question him. Jesus answers them and says, The day will come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them and they will fast. To me, my dear brothers and sisters, this notion means as long as we have Jesus Christ in our lives, we shouldn't worry about anything, but rather than worry, we should instead be inclined on hope in Jesus Christ. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, we should rather strive to the call of God to, to know him, to love him, and to serve him, and above all, to be with him. Lastly, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verse 18 to 19, we read, For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he, is, he has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Here is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. So, at times in life, we shouldn't always listen to whatever people say to us and pay attention on how they look down on us, because whatever we do, people will always criticize us, whether good or bad. It's one and the same as the history answer that goes like, different people felt differently. But rather than listening to all this, we should instead listen to the voice of God. Therefore, in this Lenten season, let us listen intently to the voice of God and thus purify our hearts and attaining the beatific vision. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.